In today's video, you'll learn eight habits that make people love being around you, with examples from a celebrity that seems almost universally loved, Pedro Pascal. The first trait that makes Pedro so popular is his endearing embarrassment. When most people get accused of something embarrassing, they react with awkward silence or try to deny it. They don't realize this is actually an opportunity to make people like you more. Here's how to do it. Do you ever look at Instagram accounts devoted to you being a heartthrob when you're feeling down? Yes, I do. <laughs> It really is that simple. You can turn embarrassing moments into charismatic ones just by laughing at yourself. Plus, if you laugh at yourself first, you save the people around you from feeling awkward by inviting them to laugh with you. Here's a great example where Pedro can't think of anything to say. When he laughs at himself, it saves the awkward silence and gets his co-star to laugh. Is Nathan Fillion really Pedro Pascal? I think Pedro Pascal is really Nathan Fillion because... Is Pedro Pascal... <laughs> It's Pedro Pascal. You just saw another charismatic habit you can do to make people enjoy being around you. Play laugh tag, add a touch when you laugh. Research shows that a welcome touch builds trust and connection, and conversational high points like when you're both laughing are a great time for it. One danger here, not everyone likes being touched, so you wanna calibrate your touch to how well you know the person and if they touch back. A good way to start is with a simple hand on the forearm. Here's an example with Pedro where he purposely ruins a take and then teases his director Neil with a line the director used to say to him. Uh, and done. You gotta do that again. Amen. <laughs> take up, take up to seven. Did you literally take seven? You love it. Purpose? You love take it. Three. He loves it. Do it again. Take seven. Did you notice how Neil initially looks a little aggravated at Pedro's joke? But when Pedro laughs and touches his forearm, Neil smiles. The forearm touch is great for people you don't know well. With someone you already know and are building a closer connection with, you can also use Pedro's favorite laugh tag, the head on shoulder. Don't do drugs. Nope. Without me. Totally joking here, kids. Now let's go into a super easy habit if you want to make other people laugh. See if you can guess what it is from this next clip. Anyway, I read the first script and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to meet him, I want to meet him. Yeah. And uh, we talked, we fell in love, and... Uh... <laughs> Pedro could have just said, we get along really well, but instead he speaks in hyperbole. Exaggeration makes people laugh, especially when you exaggerate so much it's impossible to take you seriously. In this next clip, Bella and Pedro are asked how much of themselves they put into their characters in The Last of Us. Listen to how Pedro compares himself to the almost superhuman character he plays. I think it's just a natural like merging of two people, and it helps when like I'm quite similar to Ellie, so that was helpful. I am exactly like Joel. <laughs> <laughs> you saw there how easy this is to do. It only takes five words for Pedro to get the whole group laughing. This bleeds into another joke Pedro loves that you can also steal, the fake narcissist joke. We all know people with annoyingly big egos. Pretending to be that person for one sentence is a great way to get a laugh. For example, listen to Pedro chime in after Poppy Delavine shares her reaction to getting cast in Kingsman 2. It was a dream come true. It's good you didn't I definitely wept a little it. bit. I think I definitely had a little cry. I was excited. It's just like I'm going to work with Pedro Pascal. That was it. Finally. That was it. That was my lifelong dream. All three <laughs> law and orders. <laughs> Again, the key here is to go so over the top, it's obvious that you're joking. Here's a great example with Robert Downey Jr. I must be mellowing with age, but I want to say this very clearly. The next time I'm not asked the first question, <laughs> You'll get an even bigger laugh with these fake narcissist jokes if you've already established yourself in conversation as a kind, humble person. The easiest way to do this is to raise others up. Pedro has two ways of doing this that are super easy to do and will make people love being around you. The first is something that most people will say is obvious and yet most people don't do. If you find yourself thinking something nice about the person you're talking to, say it out loud. How do you think about balancing the noble traits that make a character like Joel heroic versus the weaker ones that make him human? You're smart. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. <laughs> Only in one place on Disney Plus. That was great. He's man. my favorite great. person. Beyond vocalizing kind thoughts, you can also raise people up simply by passing the conversational spotlight. Did you know you wanted to be an actor? I did. I had that delusion very early. What about you? Did like how early were you like I'm gonna be a, a, on TV? <laughs> on TV. On, in movies. <laughs> It can be as simple as bouncing back the question people ask you. This is so easy to do, and yet so many people don't do it. What item from the Game of Thrones world would you bring to The Last of Us? I really loved my robe. 
I knew yeah. you were going to say it. This is why I said clothing. I'm telling you. What about you? I liked my armor from season eight. If you're already good at this, then you may have the opposite problem, giving up the conversational spotlight too quickly and too often. Laughing and making other people laugh, being kind and being a likable listener, these are all great traits that will make people enjoy being around you, but they won't feel a real connection with you until they learn at least a little bit about who you are. When it comes to sharing about yourself, a great trick is to use a hook that builds curiosity. Think of a common question that people typically ask you. Then, think of a hook you can add to the beginning of your answer. You were born in uh, Chile, right? I was born in Santiago, Chile, that's and right. And then you were raised, though, in the United States. I was raised in the United States. My parents became political refugees when I was just a baby. Wow. If you aren't sure how to hook people, there are two specific hooks you can steal from Pedro. The first is the surprise positive twist. Follow up a seemingly negative sentence with a positive one. I got my head crushed in. It was the best part of the day. Other examples of this would be sentences like, I got laid off, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, or my girlfriend told me it was the best day of my life. Then there's the second hook you can steal from Pedro, the I don't know if I should share this hook. So then my phone rings. I don't think I should tell you the whole true story, but um, I was... Okay, I was... When it comes to sharing about yourself, there's another great habit you can learn from Pedro. Have a few good go-to stories that you know people love. For example, Pedro loves to share the story of telling his family about The Last of Us. That day, I spoke to my sister who was driving uh, my nephews to school. And I was on speaker and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even know that they were in the car and I was like, I'm having a conversation about this amazing job. And she's like, what's going on? And I said, well, there's this job offer and uh, uh, it's based actually on a video game. And she's like, yeah. And I, and I said, it's called the, and I didn't even get the, I didn't even get to the A-S-T. And I was like, it's called the, la and they're, the last of us, the last of us. <laughs> you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to get this job. <laughs> you better get that job. <laughs> The next time you tell a story that gets a great reaction, make a mental note to yourself. By having stories you know people like, you instantly make yourself more fun to talk to than the majority of people out there. Just be mindful you don't use the same story over and over with the same audience. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, you probably want to make a stronger, more positive impression on people and create better relationships. Whether you want that for your career, social life, or romantic life, we have a step-by-step 30-day -step program that can help you do just that. Over 15,000 people just like you have gone through it and had life-changing results promotions, new jobs, a better dating life, more friends, and perhaps most importantly, a higher sense of freedom, confidence, and happiness. Now, it is a paid program, so to offset any financial risk to you, we've given the program a 60-day money-back guarantee. That means you have enough time to take the entire program, go through every single day, put it all into practice, and still have plenty of time to decide if you liked it or if you want your money back. We set it up this way because we know that once you experience the program, it'll change your life and you'll think it's some of the best money you've ever invested in yourself. If you want to learn more and see if our 30-day Charisma University program is right for you, you can click the link that's on screen now. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.